Hello everyone, PJ for you too. PJ was for you too. PJ, why not? Back with another deck review today. We got the NLC originals, which are not original because it's like the fifth different reprint of the NLC decks, not including only NLC signature editions, which were just recolors. Um, finally, House of Playing Cards is back after being gone for like three years or whatever it was. And they are back to printing NLCs via USB-C, which is great news because the ones from Expert Playing Cards were not necessarily the best handling-wise, and the side opening top cases were not exactly very well received, I think, by some people. Um, there was always, especially also, there was always difficulty with the Expert Playing Cards of getting cards back into the top case because they got the flap underneath that gets in the way and the side opening one wasn't great. I've seen a review <laughs> um, by a guy on YouTube, I think it might have been the Wrestling Genius, I'm not 100% sure, who literally ripped apart the NLC decks, like literally he ripped apart the box and trashed them, he was not happy with them at all. The expert ones, but these are USB-C. They are now in red, blue, green, yellow, and black. No more purple. Why? Why no purple? Damn it. But I guess it's fine because purple is kind of similar to the blue anyway. And red, blue, green, black are like the top colors most people use. Yellow. Why not? It's a fun color. Uh, the front of the box. It says quality playing cards made in USA by the House of Playing Cards NLC, which stands for. Nothing, only color. I do also have the white one, the knockout, which I'll be reviewing separately because it is slightly different. And the, the artwork just wraps around the whole box. There's nothing on top. And the bottom says that's made by USPC, House of Playing Cards .com, where you can get them. I think some of them are sold out, if not all of them by now. Uh, nothing on the flap. That's just a standard tough case. Let's get to the cards. Do we really need to see all the colors? I can show you them, but... Um, first of all, you get a duplicate. I like the court cards. They've gone back to what they had in the first or second edition, which is a modified standard court card with nice red and blue and green colors on the body and the yellow and the black. I like it. It also reminds me of some of the older Smoke and Mirrors decks. And, and uh, so I, I like it. I'm a fan. The back, you see right here, standard NLC. It is marked in the corners for the suit as usual. Could have been sent a little bit better, but that's typical USB-C. You also get a blank card in these decks. And you get some jokers. They are different, but similar to the previous ones. Uh, with a star in the center, like usual, and it says joker in the corners. A nice little line. <laughs> you get two of those, of course. And the uh, Ace of Spades, again, it is different, but similar to the previous ones. A bit of a fatter spade bit with a line going through it, and it says standard premium quality house of playing cards. Is that kind of like uh, an oxymoron or something? How could it be standard and premium at the same time? I don't know. And the court cards, like I mentioned, I like them. <laughs> standard number cards and indexes and court cards, aside from these slight modifications to the faces which I am a fan of. These are in a bicycle stock. I think it might be a crust bicycle stock in a Aircrest Infinis. You get the red ones. Ooh. Very nice. Nice. Shoes out of the way here. Get green. one and of course I'll show you the yellow now they are just NLC decks they lack you know any major customization but I do like what they do with the court cards and I do like that they've modified changed the aces page and the jokers and the top case as well it's all good stuff very nice new top case even though it's simple but it's fine it makes sense 
ALC Originals. I'm digging it. They're not bad, and I do like the black, although purple is missed, but I wouldn't be surprised if we see purples and oranges and other colors later on. You know how it is. Uh, there'll be a whole bunch of other colors coming eventually. Um, yeah, I keep bending my cards for some reason. Anyways, I would say I would rate these. Um, I do like the colors too as I look at them right now. Very nice, dude. All distinct. Unlike, like I said, the purple maybe kind of was too similar to the blue. So I decided not to use it. Um, I'm going to say 8.5 out of 10. They're not bad. They handle great. They're a lot better handling-wise and feel-wise than the NLC variations they previously did, I think. Um, they don't have the embossing and whatnot of some of the NLC signature editions, but... That's fine. Keep them standard. Keep them simple. Keep them simple. That's what they are. There's no need for special signature embossed editions when NLC is supposed to be simple. And these are. And uh, they work fine. Stay tuned. I'll be doing a knockout review shortly. You can get these from most Magic and Card Shops. As well as maybe HouseofPointCards.com. Might have some left. But don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know what you think. I'll see you next time with more. Thanks for watching.